Okay, so by now you've kind of settled on like a decent fit to move forward with for some of the more um, complicated sewing pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing all these guys together because we need to get the fly in and the pocket and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start with the fly. Um, there's two of them and you know what? I'm actually gonna delete one of them. And so, um, Probably if you're doing men's, you should delete the shorter one. If you're doing women's, delete the longer one. It doesn't totally matter, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to delete the shorter one in this case. And I'm going to be placing um, this guy um, right here. Let's see, flip the right way. Um, how is this? I always get a little confused. Straight line. Okay. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna be placing it underneath here, but I need to flip it so it'll be placed underneath this guy. Um, but let me copy it before I do that. So I'm gonna say copy and paste, and this guy will get sewn to the other side. They actually both need to be flipped, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna right click and um, flip horizontally, and I'm also gonna flip horizontally this guy. Okay, so this one is gonna get sewn underneath that and kind of be folded back, if you will. And then this one is also gonna get sewn here, but it's not gonna be folded underneath. It's gonna be folded flat. And then later, like both of these pieces, if I can select both of them, let me hold shift, there you are, um, would be sewn like you sew the rises together and then you could see the little flies match up. Um, so that's how that's gonna go. I'm not gonna put in a zipper on this guy. I think that's too much. Um, so, okay, so here we go. Um, the sewing tool I'm gonna use, let's see if this is the same length, I could just use a segment sewing tool, but it might just be easier to use our um, free sewing tool. So this is 7.49, basically seven and a half inches. This guy's not, he's eight inches. So definitely gonna use the free sewing tool. I'm gonna click here. Here, that's one half. Now I'll click here and look for that blue dot and I'll stop the blue dot so that they're the same length. Cool. Um, let me grab the other one. I just switched by hitting the letter A on the keyboard and I will go back to that free sewing tool. I'm gonna start with the fly so I know the length of it. So I clicked once at the stop or at the start and I'm clicking once at the end and that sets the first half. Now I'm clicking here one time um, why is there already so, oh yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Um, and I'm gonna stop at the blue dot. There we go. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna say superimpose under and I believe I have to do this in the 3D window. So I'm gonna right click, because he's selected, superimpose under. So when it came to placement, it just put it underneath this guy. So that's really easy. Um, Let's see here. I can simulate, but now we're dealing with layers and I definitely want these guys on top of that one. So um, another thing we should probably do is probably sew these two together, right here and right here. And then the way the layers go is that this is the bottom layer, this one's on top, and this is on the very top top. So, <laughs> be interesting. I'm gonna hold these two uh, by holding shift selected them and I'm actually gonna change the layer. Um, we don't do this very often in Clo. Um, it really doesn't like it when you change layers so you only use it for like when you have to like tuck in shirts or do something like we're doing right now. So I have to find my layers. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. There it is, layer. And I'm gonna change it to layer one. It's gonna get mad at us, watch. It says, don't forget to put it back. It's not a good idea to work in layers. I'm like, okay, even made it bright green. Um, <clears throat> okay, so maybe I'll take this guy. I should probably place it with the, uh, um, the arrangement points, but I might not. I'm just gonna hit spacebar and see what happens. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna hit spacebar because they are frozen. So let's unfreeze them. So I'll select you and I guess you too. And then I'm gonna right click and go up to unfreeze. Much better. Okay, now let's do spacebar. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have placed it so it didn't like mess up the fit of my pant. 
but I got it back on. Figured itself out. Okay. It's trying to figure itself out. You know, I might just say edit undo. Okay. And then actually place it. So it looks like it's not frozen. And I'll turn on the arrangement points. And just click that right there. Um, then I'll turn this guy around. Just kind of help with the placement there. Okay, let's see if that's any better. Space bar. Yeah, that's a much calmer, better way to go. I'm gonna hit space bar right now. Um, still kind of flipping around. I think I'm gonna sew the tops together as well of the little fly. So I'm gonna click there and click here. I would like to click it to the waistband as well. And start with a little space bar. Okay, that's good. That's letting it kind of settle out. Okay, before I sew it to the waistband though, um, yeah, I'm gonna actually, the next part after I finish this fly is I am gonna actually extend this waistband and I believe I'm gonna go ahead and extend um, this side to cross over and be a little buttonhole. So I clicked it on the 3D, which means there should be a blue dot on the 2D, so I know where. That's the guy I'm gonna extend it and it's gonna cross over this guy. So where's my dot? There it is. So that's really where I wanna sew it to. So maybe I'll go ahead and use my free sewing tool. I'm gonna sew, let's see here. I'm gonna click from here to here. I'm gonna click it here to there. Okay, hit space bar. Yeah, that worked out nicely. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we got our fly sewn in there, so I can actually go ahead and let's get these guys off of layer one. Change it back to layer zero. Great. Okay, and spacebar again. This is great, because we're still in a really um, uh, low resolution, so it's good that this is all laying flat and not meshing over each other, so cool. Okay. Step two, now that we're done with the fly, uh, we are gonna actually move the waistband. So again, it's this guy right here. We're gonna make a little bit longer, probably the width of what the fly is. So let's go find out how much the fly is wide. So just clicking that line, I hit the letter Z for the keyboard shortcut selection tool. It's 1.772, okay. So we are gonna offset our pattern. And these are connected, so I think I only have to offset one. I'm going to the letter Z to select it. I want to select the segment. Yes, both are selected. So I'm going to zoom in, right click, offset pattern outline. We're going to make it longer. Oh gosh, I already forgot. I, you know what? I got to go back and look. This is why you should write things down. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm just going to write this. <laughs> 1.772. Okay, great. Select, right click, offset the pattern outline to make it longer. Yes, we wanna extend, and I wanna look and watch to make sure it does the right thing. So I'm gonna move that window, um, 1.772. Okay, that looks good, I'll say okay. Okay, so now it's a little bit longer. Let's do that layer thing again, where um, this guy is on top of the other one. So I'm gonna hit letter A, I'm gonna select, you know, it kinda of does both of them. Well, I might as well just click both. And layer, let's go to one. Okay, O1 works. Okay, and spacebar. Oh, our sewing's all funky. Edit undo. Okay, so our sewing now has to cross over to the other front, right? So let's look at our sewing. And if the edit sewing tool, yeah, so this guy doesn't have any stitching yet. Oh, and then this one, I'm gonna delete that sewing line. We don't need it. Okay, but which one? What's the red one? Yeah, that one's, I don't wanna sew, I know these two are sewn together, that's fine. It's the this guy being sewn over here to that guy. So I'm gonna delete. Hopefully that worked. Okay, cool. Um. And you know what, actually, let me see here. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, cool. 
Um, so let's see. I think that's all I need to do. I mean, I could sew it to the pant just for extra, um, just to make it feel more solid, but I might, I shouldn't really have to do it. So let's just see what happens if I simulate right now. So this is just sewn to nothing, which is good. Okay. Ah, okay, so what happened is I'd extended both and I actually did not want it to extend the um, the one that's on still on layer zero. So I'm gonna have to unlink them because now they're gonna be different. Okay, so let's go do that. So this guy, um, what's gonna happen here? Oh, because it's linked to two different things. Remove linked editing. Okay. Okay, I think there's those what guys are still connected. Yes, few. Okay, so here this guy, I can actually probably just delete these two points. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that makes it shorter again. Let's see what happens. That's better. Um, we have a weird little fold. Maybe I can strengthen this guy so it can just kind of get that kink out. I'm not sure why it's doing that. There we go. We're gonna put a button there to hold that guy. So for now, he's okay. We're just gonna leave him. Um, okay, so our pattern is good. I'm happy with it. Um, later, after we have the button, we can remove that sew line, but I think for now, we're good. Okay, for the pocket bag, we're gonna do it kind of 3D friendly. Um, because with pocket bags, you know, you would have two of these lining pieces and they would both be sewn underneath the pant leg. And that's three layers of fabric. It's an awful lot. It's a bit complicated to do and it's not really necessary because I'm not gonna have him put his hand in his pocket. And um, so what we're gonna do for clothes, you do wanna design though the slash line of where you want your pant pocket and we want fabric underneath that at least. So to get started, we're gonna put our pocket bag um, underneath the pant, okay? So, so here it is. I'm gonna click drag, line it up. And you know what? I'm kinda worried that this shape might not, because we changed the fittings, so this might not even be a good shape. So you might just wanna make your own pocket bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this translucent, change the fabric so it's kinda see-through. And I'm gonna get my internal line tool and let's see here, da, 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 da. letter G is a keyboard shortcut. I'm so bad at finding it with the drop down menu. Oh, here it is. Yeah, letter G, it's easier for me. Um, so yeah, maybe the pocket bag starts right here and it goes here. I'll do a little click and drag um, and then come up and then, yeah, I'll just, and then that is where your slash would have to be wherever the, the pocket bag ends as well, so. I guess I can just kind of keep, eh, that's fine. I'm just gonna hit return. Okay, so now I can use my trace tool to make this its own pattern piece. Our little trace tool, it's this icon that kind of looks like denim patch pockets. Um, so I'll select that. I'm gonna hold shift, get this line and this line. We'll right click, traces pattern. Let's see if that works for us. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it did, great. So that means I don't need the other pattern piece. So I don't need it to be translucent. I'll go back to just regular. Ooh, and actually I wanna work in white. And I'm gonna go grab the old one. I'm just gonna delete it, because now we have a new better one. Um, okay, how to sew it together. You know what I think we're gonna do is we can just sew it, I mean, to the exact same spot might be the easiest. And then when it comes to placing, we'll superimpose under so we don't have to worry about it being all messy and wrinkled. So I think that's our best bet. So we can use just the segment sewing tool. And just since, oh, nope, that's not gonna work because, okay, to get this to work, if you wanna use the segment sewing tool, is I'm gonna select this internal line. I'm gonna right click, extend and add points to the pattern outline. So now, there we go. Now that's the same length. And I should be mindful of my notches. I think they're both at the top there. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, okay, notches at the top, notches at the top. Just kind of making sure they get lined up the same. Cool. Okay, so now I can select this guy. I have to go into the 3D window. And instead of placing it, all I have to do is say superimpose under. And 
it should go right underneath that pant and just lay perfectly, and it did. Um, we will see it when we cut open the front pant for the pockets. So for fun, um, we could change it to be like a different color kind of right now. We can work in this. This is like a preview of just the pattern pieces are different colors. And then watch, what if I take this blue one and scooch it forward? So it looks like it's orange um, on the inside. Okay, when I hit simulate, just to let it kind of figure itself out. Cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna design the front opening. There was a little, um, this was the pattern piece that they suggested to use. So gosh, maybe my opening's gonna be way too, uh, yeah, so here, I'm gonna go back to translucent. Let's do that. Okay, so actually I'm gonna kind of use this as a guide. And I'm gonna add a point by hitting the letter X that can put a point on this pattern and a point right here. I'm just gonna use that as my slash line. Now I can move that pattern piece. I don't really need him. And then I guess I could probably easiest is just delete this point and that'll make a straight line. So I'm gonna hit letter Z and click that guy. And look, do you see? Okay, now do we have some sewing issues? I'm gonna be a little scared about my sewing issues. Um, let's get my edit sewing tool. What's going on? Yeah, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Let's see, what's getting sewn to what? Oh, it's the side seam. So yeah, nope, that's gonna be a problem. So let's zoom in. Um, this side seam, I'm gonna, oh gosh, she doesn't even know. Which one is it? Is it the dark blue? I think it's the dark blue. Yes, I'm gonna bring this down to stop right here. And I'm gonna to try to find a blue dot, yes. There we go. Now we're gonna want this side seam sewn to that pocket. Okay, so this guy, this is our new side seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do free sewing. I'm gonna click, well, I'm gonna to try to click right there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay. Click, Ugh, it's giving me trouble, isn't it? Okay, let's get out of translucent, just do regular white. Okay, make sure I can select it. There's nothing funny happening. Is it locked? What's going on? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, weird. I must have done something. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, why are these special? <laughs> Am I having a layers issue? What's going on? What is going on here? Hmm. Okay, I must have accidentally locked my pattern pieces. So strange. Okay, I was able to unlock them through the toggle menu. Um, great. Okay, so I need to sew this side seam right now. Has nothing sewn to it. So I'm gonna click you. Oh, I don't wanna do that one. That's my edit tool. I'm gonna do free sewing. I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna stop to where the sewing does pick up. And I'm gonna go up here. And I'll just stop where the blue dot is. Okay. Space bar. Great, almost, nope, almost. Okay, so let's check our sewing. What is this thing being sewn to? Ah, we don't need this sewn together. So I'm gonna say delete. This guy doesn't need to be sewn to anything. He should just be fine. Oh yeah, and this too. This is red, let's move this guy up here and then we can change the length Okay, um, that's fine. And then there's, this guy should be sewn to the waistband actually. So that's probably an issue that we have right now. Yeah, there's the waistband. I'm gonna move that over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this so it's to the blue dot. And then I'm gonna get my free sewing tool and I'm gonna sew this little part of the waistband. Oh, I should have done it the other way, but that's okay here this way to the blue dot okay my sewing's twisted 
So I'm going to hit the Edit Sewing Tool, right click, and Reverse Sewing so it won't be twisted. Okay, that might be better. Let's find out. Space bar. Yeah, good. It didn't even really like move on the avatar or anything. Cool. Okay, so we have a pocket. Um, there we have the belt ready to go to add a button. We've got our fly. Um, the last thing we need is the patch pocket. Great. So um, I suggest you different ways to do it. You can use our 3D drawing tool to kind of get started. So let's show you where that is. Um, so 3D pen on the garment. There's also a 3D pen on the avatar, <clears throat> which is below it, I believe. That's like base pen. Yeah, 3D pen avatar. But we're just going to use it, um, 3D pen garment. OK, and then let's see if I can change this so it's easier to see. And then, yeah, just kind of click where you want a nice patch pocket, what kind of shape you think you want and we can clean it up in the 2D pattern. There we go. Cool. So then now what you'll do is switch to the edit tool and if you can move little things around if you're like, oh, that should be bigger. Let me demo that. Let's see, I'm gonna deselect, grab this guy. So you can move stuff around. <laughs> you can try to. It's not very easy. So I'm gonna actually just grab all of them and I'm gonna right click and we'll say trace as internal shape. Okay. So there it is. And then I think it's much easier to actually clean it up here. You know, usually your patch pockets. Let's see here. Kind of get it the way you want. Maybe you actually split this line and then unfold it so it's symmetrical. So I can um, hit Z, right click, um, cut, is cut what I want? No. Right click, split, I think. There it is, split, just uniform into two. Do a little view so I can see. Okay, and then I could delete half of it. And then I could right click and unfold. Yeah, so it's more symmetrical that way. Um, if I like it, I can actually leave the internal lines, so have something to sew it to, and then I will make a pattern piece out of it. So we use our trace tool to make a pattern piece. Hold shift to select all the lines, right click, trace as pattern. And there we go. Cool. Um, Okay, and then we can go ahead and sew it. So sew the side, mind your notches. Let's say click, 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 click. I'll leave that opening open. And to place it, the easiest way to place it is to select it and um, right click in the 3D window and say superimpose under. So put it right underneath the pant, should be laying nice and flat. Oh, actually we want it on top. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So let me move that thing again. I'm gonna right click, say superimpose over. We want it on top. There we go, cool. And I'll hit space bar. Okay, cool. All right, well this is your goal to get it sewn up with some of the more complicated pattern pieces and reach out if you guys have questions. The last part to sew together um, are the belt loops. So um, let's see here. So I recommend zooming in on your pattern, click your waistband. Oops, I'm gonna get out of simulation mode. There we are. Um, and we can copy this and use it as a way to make the belt loop pattern pieces. So I'm just gonna say edit copy, edit paste. There we go. Okay, and you can make your belt loops however wide you want. I'm gonna make them a quarter inch wide. Um, so, there's nothing special about that. Okay, good. Um, da, 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 da. And I'm gonna probably place one here. So I might actually 
throw in a little notch, a little X here as a placement, and then I'm gonna select that and right click and add an internal line. Um, I want the internal line to go up and down, which is the Y, so I, because it's perpendicular, I have to choose X. And if you ever get it wrong, just cancel and redo it. Okay, so um, that's basically where I want it placed. And then, yeah, okay, let's see. And again, I'm gonna do it a quarter inch wide. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna offset this guy as an internal line, um, a quarter inch. Right now it defaulted to one, so I'm gonna type in 0.25. I'll say okay. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna put my belt loop. Um, so this guy, let's see here. I guess what I could do is maybe cut this guy, letter X, and I can right click and type in 0.25. Let's look, that looks good. Okay, let's select it. Let's add an internal line, perpendicular. I want it going on the Y, so opposite of that is X. Let's look at it, make sure it looks good, yep. Say okay. And then now I can use that, let's see if it'll let me cut it. And it will, cut, perfect, cool. There is my pattern piece. So now I don't really need this guy. I can just copy and make five of these. So copy, paste, command V to paste, command V to paste, command V to paste. And then I can go ahead and just add these internal lines around my belt, wherever I want my belt loops, and sew them there. So for this first one, I will go ahead and Take this segment sewing right here and place it up. Oh, you know what? These, um, what I can do is break up this line if I want to use a segment sewing. So, and if I don't, maybe I just do free sewing. So I'll just do free sewing. So I'm going to say click, click. Maybe I'll do this one. Click, click. And then I'll do the bottom. Click, click. Click, click. And then a lot of times we do actually like our belt loops to be just a little bit bigger so they can go around the belt, not much. So if I wanna do that, I can hit the letter Z and I can select just the tops of them all. And what happens if I just hit, oh, that's too much, I think. So let me bring it down just a little bit, just so it's like a little bit bigger. Okay, then what I'm gonna do to place it, I think the easiest way to place it is I'll select this guy and these ones for now, I think I'll freeze. Maybe I'll move them out of the way. And I'll just right click and say freeze. Um, and then this guy, I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna right click, say superimpose over. So that way it just goes right on top of my belt and I don't have to really work that hard to place it. I'm gonna switch my view to multiple colors. There we go. Now that I look at a quarter inch, maybe that is not wide enough. I might actually change it to be wider, but yeah, so go ahead and also sew on um, five belt loops and then you will be done with this kind of intricate level two sewing um, additional pattern pieces.